end of the road for the Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, who uh, ended that long, long drought without uh, a postseason appearance. Hadn't been in there since 2004. And uh, they make it in with a 47 35 record. And uh, a notable free agent is Jamal Crawford. What do you see on the on the horizon for Minnesota with Carl Anthony Towns and with Andrew Wiggins and with Jimmy Butler, et cetera. They're a young team that plays old school basketball. We've been saying all year with those guys out on the wing with him in the middle, got to let them go. We all know Tibbs is a hands-on type of coach, but I think at some point you got to let those guys go and, you know, you just got to let them run. It's no, it, there's no reason they should be coming down and setting it up all the time. On misses, you should go. We're not calling the plays, push it up, run on the wings. Cat, you run down the middle, post up, seal. And then, you know, if after, you know, timeouts and after dead ball situation, then we can get in discipline mode and call plays. But at some point, he's going to have to let these young fellas run. 100%. I've been saying that all year. The, the thought of Jimmy Butler on one wing, Andrew Wiggins coming to me full speed, Teague in the middle, and Carl Anthony Towns, who's probably the fastest big guy in the league, that's frightening, but they never run. They walk the ball up and down the court. They run a play every single time. They got to make a decision on Jimmy Butler. Because, uh, you know, they gave Wiggins the max. If they give Butler the max, uh, they're not going to have a lot of money when it comes time to pay Carl Anthony Towns. So you have to say to yourself, can these three guys play together and take us to the next level? What do you think? Uh, I do not think they can. Okay. Uh, so do, when you say they can't, who is can't? <laughs> uh, well, I, I think they don't have a high ceiling uh, as constructed uh, because I don't think they have enough diversity unless they're going to change the way they play. Uh, they, but they got a good team. But if you're paying three guys to max, which you'll probably be playing cat in a year or two, uh, those three guys are not going to take you to the Warriors, the Rockets, uh, teams like that, in my opinion. I think this was, um, you know, on the positive side, you, get, you got to the playoffs. First time you get to the playoffs in, I don't know, umpteen years. So that's a positive. So they got to experience that. But I, I will agree with both Charles and Shaq that you, you'd have to open the floor up. And once you open the floor up, uh, you'll see, I think, a better Carl Anthony Towns, a better Jimmy Butler, and a better Andrew Wiggins, who's no really the guy who's lost in this whole offense is... Because they're really slowing it down so Butler and Cat can actually touch it every time. So Wiggins gets the odd man out. So we're, you're not sure what his, ceiling is. what his ceiling is because he doesn't touch the basketball. Because to me, uh, Wiggins on a wing will get an extra 10 points a game on fast breaks. Carl Anthony Towns as the, one of the best running. I don't even think he had a – and it, this is what last thing. I don't think Wiggins had a real dunk in a games against Houston. Who goes up oh, and down. Yeah. So you can't remember a dunk that yeah. Wiggins had who's super athletic. And, and, and Ernie, the biggest that. thing is their best, they're not a good shooting team. Their best three-point shooter is Carl Anthony Towns. Any team where your best big guy is your three-point shooter, you're not going to be good. To the point you, to the point you made about, uh, about getting up and down the floor, 25th in the league in fast break points with 10 a game in the regular season. They averaged ten, fewer, ten, fewer than 10. 10 for, uh, fast, fast break, break points and fewer oh, in the playoffs. And fewer than that. T Ten points a game. But they, oh, they average fewer against the Rockets. Uh, that's bad. Who run? That's bad.